Hey everybody, what is up and welcome back to another anime first look with CMK Ninja. So, it's kind of weird that I've never watched a Gundam series until now. It's also weird considering the fact that my favorite anime, Gurren Lagann, is a mech. And you'd think I'd figured watching, like, the father of mech anime. But I haven't. And it's also weird that I'm starting with the new one. But you know what? I follow my own damn rules, so you're gonna have to freaking deal with it. Anyway, this one looked really interesting to me. And I've been meaning to watch a Gundam series for a while now, so... I think I'll go ahead and start with this one. And if I really like this one, I might just go ahead and check out other ones. Wink, wink. Anyway, the anime is 25 episodes, so I'll base this off the first eight. Had it fair? Let's find out. It has been 300 years since the Calamity War, which was between Earth and space colonies. As a result, Earth is divided into different economic blocks and is run by the military organization Gallahorn. Mars, however, depends on Earth's economy, and has suffered because of it. A young aristocrat, Kudelia Ina Bernstein, is unhappy with the conditions that the people on Mars face with their lack of resources, and decides to get involved in the resistance movement. She hires a local company, Christguard Security, to escort her to Earth for negotiations. The 3rd Army Division is the one chosen to protect her, but before they even get a chance to leave, Gallahorn attacks the CGS facility to assassinate Kudelia. So these child soldiers get their first taste of combat and decide to protect Kudelia in her mission, and quite possibly, shape their own future. Honestly, my first impression was that this is of Noah.0 if it was done right. The setup is very similar, but there are a few different parts. But overall, the execution is definitely better in my honest opinion. So that's very nice to see, to see a setup that had a lot of potential and actually fulfill that potential instead of just suck like all Noah Zero did. The pacing is better too, it works more effectively as a war drama because it deals with child soldiers and it has a very heavy and strong topic to work with, and I think it works to the show's advantage. The characters are pretty good so far, continuing with the theme of being better than all Noah Zero. Mikazuki is a far superior version of Inaho. He still seems rather calm and battle in daily life, but the difference is he actually cares and makes connections with his comrades and shows some damn emotion. I also like how ruthless he can be during certain fights, which is really interesting to see, and it's quite effective, which makes him pretty interesting. Orga is a very determined and skilled leader. He has a strong will, he's intelligent, and his friendship with Mikazuki is pretty interesting. He can be cold, snarky, fun, serious, etc, etc. Kudelia is a decently entertaining female lead, with a lot of determination and willingness to, to do the right thing. She wants to help people, to save them from the pain they've been enduring, and that's pretty admirable. The rest of the cast is rather good too. Characters like Biscuit, Eugene, Akihiro, they really help bring the cast alive a bit more. Overall, they're good. The animation is good too, though, like I've said, that should be expected in a modern anime. And I wouldn't say it's anything really spectacular. But the mech fighting is still fun to watch, and seeing Mikazuki kicking ass is quite entertaining. Also, even though I know Gundam designs have generally stayed similar over the many years it's been around, I still do like the designs, though I guess this is more of a compliment to Gundam in general than the show itself, but still, it's a point to be made. I think the English dub is pretty good too. It's another Funimation dub. Kyle McCarley is Mikazuki, the always awesome Johnny Young Bosch as Orga, Charmy Lay is Kudelia, and other voices like Bryce Pappenbrook, Erica Mendez, and several others. It's not amazing, but it's still a nice dub. Overall, Mobile Suit Gundam Iron Blooded Orphans is, in my opinion, a pretty good war drama. It handles the material more effectively than all Noah.0, and it makes me excited to try and check out other Gundam series. I quite enjoyed myself. Good characters, good animation, and a good plot. Check it out and see for yourself. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please go ahead and make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out my other videos. Also make sure to check out my supporters, all that great stuff. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out.